Hello everyone, this is Steven from the Even Steven channel and today we are taking a look at the Cimarron Texas Brush Popper. Uh, this will be uh, model number CA2023. This one is chambered in 45 Colt. You can also get it in 4440 or 357 Magnum. Now we have one of my gripes about a lot of guns that are relatively expensive. It comes in an incredibly cheap cardboard box. And the only other thing that came in this box I don't have right here is, um, is the plastic. The, the, uh, the gum it's, uh, itself was wrapped in a plastic bag. And there really is not much that comes along with it. This is an instruction manual that is not specific to this model. Some owner's information. This, this sticker, which is kind of cool. I'm your Huckleberry. Some more, just like just more generic NRA stuff. That's pretty cool example of rifle might I won't get Henry one day but there really is not much going on except for the gun so we are going to get this out of the box and we're going to move it out of the way I'll show you the Cimarron Texas brush popper now if you don't know what this is this is a reproduction can I zoom out at all that's it I'm zoomed out this is a reproduction of the Winchester Model 1873. And the Winchester Model 1873 came in a variety of different configurations. But never in its initial offering really came in a 45 Colt. And that's kind of a modern accommodation. 4440 is not particularly popular. And a lot of people do 45 Colt or 357 Magnum. I want a 45 Colt. I know it's more expensive, but... I kind of wanted a little bit more authenticity, a little compromise between the authenticity of the 4440 and the practicality of the 45 Colt. So we'll go back to front. Initially, I wasn't thrilled with the wood on here. I'm not sure how well it's coming off on camera with this glare right here. But the wood is growing on me. At first I thought, eh, it's a little cheap, but it's growing on me. You have kind of a, a little bit of a curved butt plate, more of a, I think you call that Schutzen style. The 1873 came in a variety of configurations. You could probably get it more flat, or you can get it more curved. It's a little more curved, and yeah, I like it. I like the the metal fixings that kind of come along with it. This coming here, that way, it looks nice. Pistol grip. I like a little bit of a pistol grip on my lever action guns. A little bit of checkering here. It's good. This actually says I will spit it around. I can show it with the glare. Model 1873. And on the lever itself, oh wow, it says, if I can show it right, A, A Ubete, Italy, and that looks like the serial number there. You have the lever, the whole, if you see, a lot of these metal parts are color case hardening, and it looks very nice. The lever. One of the only safeties on the Winchester 1873 is this very unique kind of manual safety. This actually kind of just, all it does is lock the lever in place. So you would have the gun loaded, chamber empty, yes, manual safety locked, and you leave the gun that way. Then you're about to fire, take the safety off, run the lever, start firing. Trigger, hammer. This hammer, has a seems like a half cock safety or a safety notch right there. I don't know if the original Winchester 1873 had that. I just simply don't know. But basically, it's full cock, safety notch. Sorry, full rest, safety notch, full cock. I like the Winchester 1873 in particular. This kind of large plate that covers both sides that's kind of unique to the Winchester 1873 and the sliding desk cover which is also Winchester 1873 um, feature the desk covers like that and when you actually go run the lever the bolt will physically move the, the uh, desk cover open 
Loading gate, of course. It's a lever action gun, loading gate. Your fingers can kind of get caught in the metal plate here or here. Uh, makes me want to use gloves. But it works, and I think over time maybe that will smooth out a little bit. You have the brass elevator that was featured on basically all of the three early Winchester, the Henry, the 1866, and the 1873. You have this elevator that moves basically straight up and down. Here's the bolt. And again, when you're running the lever, especially when the hammer's back, there isn't a whole lot of movement. The very last bit of travel, when basically the bolt snaps up. Not the bolt, the uh, elevator snaps up. Nice handguard. Nice sights. Actually, I like the sights. I don't know if I can show this well on camera. It's hard to do it. But basically, you have this kind of U-notch here. The very small, like kind of a U top, and a very small square notch right there, and the front sight. Very basic looking front sight. And the sight picture on this gun is actually quite usable. It's surprisingly good for a lever action gun. I don't know if that is authentic to the Winchester 1873. I don't know if that is a modern accommodation, but I like it. Good job, Cimarron and Uberte. You have a 10 round magazine. You have an 18 inch barrel, which is rounded in the front and octagonal in the back. It's an interesting choice. And overall, this gun is, is kind of meant to invoke, you know, it's the, it's the Texas brush popper. It's made to invoke the idea of someone being out on the prairie, out on a homestead, and using this as, I guess, a do all hunting defensive rifle. So we got Cimarron, Repeating Arms, Frederick, Burke, Texas, USA. This is King's Improvement Patent, March 29, 1866. And then the second one is October 16, 1866. So you have the patent information for the 1866 and the Hemi rifle. Which doesn't need to be there, but looks cool. 45 Colt. And just overall, I find this to be an extremely handsome looking gun. A very lightweight, handy looking gun. Again, something for someone on the prairie. On a homestead. The Texas Brush Popper. Uh, I like it. Now, casually shooting this. Standing 25 yards. Got decent accuracy. I, I'm not a great shot. This is me and my friend. We both took turns shooting this. We both enjoyed it. Uh, two of the shots are a little high, but we got we got we got Darth Vader. We got him. That's like one box of ammo. The gun is extremely fun to shoot because that 45 Colt cartridge in a revolver is quite potent. But when you put it in a rifle like this, even this one that's a little bit short. It is extremely fun to shoot. Now I showed that video, there should be a video in the front of me shooting this. The first time I went to shoot this, shoot it, I had a little trouble because it's a little bit different than a lot of modern lever action guns where there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, except that the hammer is forward. There's not a whole lot going on. And at the very end of travel, that elevator kind of snaps up. So that kind of threw me off. And that was the first time I ever shot this gun. And I wasn't quite used to the, I guess you say battery of arms that comes along with the gun and, and that's why you see me fumbling with it a little bit because it's not quite like a lot of other lever actions where you where you move this and the first bit of travel really does all the work it's only at the end where that really snaps up now one of the questions I had with this gun is can you basically single feed it from the top and let's see if I have any of my snap caps here let me just grab them I do have them okay I don't have any 45 long Colt or 45 Colt ammo because it's kind of so fun to shoot and I use them all. But I have a little bit of 45 Colt snap caps here. And at first I thought you couldn't do it. You couldn't top feed this because, like, what would you do? But if the elevator is down, basically what you can do is, I guess you would probably, oh no, I'm out. Pull the hammer back, run the lever, 
not putting up the elevator and you can just pop one in like this if you tilt the gun down a little bit it tends to go in easier and now it's stuck which is great yeah it's great for my example little finicky but it can be done and then it'll just work like normal the extractor will snap right over that and there's my snap cap Another quick look at the Cimarron Texas Brush Popper. Very fun to shoot. 45 Colt in this rifle is almost nothing. It's like shooting a 9mm rifle. In fact, maybe even a little bit less, depending on the kind of 9mm rifle you have. So, what is a gun like this good for, the Cimarron Texas Brush Popper? Well, first and foremost, this is a like a recreational gun. This is a cowboy action shooting gun. I think this very short barrel and lighter weight is kind of intended for that. It's 10 round capacity, if I didn't mention it. 18 inch barrel, I don't know the weight, it's still got some heft to it. 70 pounds. But first and foremost, this is a cowboy action shooting gun. Or just a recreational gun. Now is it a home defense gun or a hunting gun? You know, there was a time, 140 years, 40 years ago, like that, where this was considered an adequate Hunting, fi hunting firearm, an adequate defensive firearm. It was the so-called rifle that won the West. And so how could I say you can't do that with, with a gun like this? How could you not hunt or defend your life against uh, with a Winchester 1873? Well, the truth is, yes, this was the basically the choice, or one of the few choices in the 1880s and 1890s, or 1880s. You know, today there are a lot more modern, better options. And the things we did 140 years ago, maybe we wouldn't do today. Are you riding your horse to work with an Winchester 1873 in the saddle? No. Uh, this is an incredibly fun gun to shoot. I actually highly recommend it for its intended purpose as a cowboy action shooting, recreational shooting. But, you know, be realistic. It's not, it's not a modern rifle. It's not a modern defensive rifle, modern hunting rifle, by something that, you know, works a little better. However, for its intended purpose, as a recreational gun, absolutely, it's a blast to shoot. It's fun. The action itself is smoothing out a little bit. When I got it, it was a little bit rough, I've been cleaning it out as best I can. I've been working it as best I can. It is smoothing out a little bit. And this is a gun that is most definitely staying in the collection. I love this gun. The way it looks, like the way, like way it shoots. For what I do, uh, I really can't recommend any more highly. When considered as a recreational fun gun. Absolutely, you'll have a blast with it. So this is Steven from the Even Steven channel. With my review of the Cimarron Texas Brush Popper. Thank you and goodbye.